This video was brought to you by Skillshare. Click the link in the description to get your first month free. So back in the summer of 2018, I was living in one of the most populated cities in the US, incredibly lonely, like incredibly lonely. My self-esteem was cheeks, primarily because the girl I was seeing at the time was getting hers clapped by a friend of mine. And I heard it. Not the best self-esteem booster you would you'd think. I live with some friends, Frugal Aesthetic, Jimmy Zhang, and Fly with Johnny Ty. And homies were pretty tired of seeing me depressed on the couch, which is fair. So they took my phone and reworked my entire Tinder account, specifically my bio, which after a few minutes of them messing with it, said, uh, I'm 6'2", former All-American D1 high jumper, and yeah, I have a great personality. Also, I'm 6'2". Height 62. Seems like there's kind of a theme going here. Yeah, yeah, it's not that difficult of an observation, is it? So naturally, I turn to them like, uh, bruh. Like, although funny, bit of an oversell, I feel like. On an aspect, I don't even think is worth mentioning that much. Like, sure, I'm tall, but it's not like that big of a deal, right? Like, oh, bro, are you kidding? You being 6'2 is a huge sell. Trust us. And I'm like, bro, I don't know, man. Besides, really looking at this, if anything, it looks like it was written by someone who isn't 6'2, like there's show. Oh, uh, yeah. You think they were projecting? I wouldn't say that, per se. I just think they thought maybe the height was a bit more of a factor than it was, and they were kind of showing that to me. So they were projecting? Yeah, yeah, probably. Now, look, in my personal life, I never really considered height a factor in if, like, girls wanted me like that. Like, sure, I'm socially tall. I'm about 6'2", and the average height is more around 5'10". But I never saw it as, like, the clincher, you know? Like, I never clutched a date with a girl and was like, you know what really did it, though? Me having four inches. Pause, yo, I don't think a lot of people are saying that in many a scenarios. But still, to this day, that interaction still gets me for two reasons. One, because the dude my girl had cheated on me with was taller than me. And two, because when I put the height in the bio, I was getting a lot more matches. So really, does height matter? I don't think so. But am I insecure enough to do seven hours of research to prove it? Absolutely. So this is why height doesn't All right, y'all, so I got this whole thing figured out, okay? The way to prove if height matters, now bear with me, I'm about to throw some high syllable college words into this, is to confirm if there is such thing as a <coughs> height bias. Courage, patent pending, phrase I came up with myself. None of those words were over two syllables. Putting height in front of bias doesn't make it a new term. And even if it did, you can't put a patent on it. You were just a blast at parties, huh? I like to think so. Now, what is a height bias courage pen pen? Well, it's a prejudice in favor of or against height, usually in a way considered to be unfair. I did not just put height in the Google definition of that. A real life example of this, they'll help you understand what I mean, but will probably also make me look racist. All right, so if y'all couldn't tell, I am black. Now there is a prejudice bias for black people about being good at basketball, which technically I could benefit from in that light if I don't know, I really wanted to get in some pickup game in like the rural South. <laughs> and what, what I'm trying to say is all in all, it's something to be taken advantage of because of someone else's preconceived bias. Like, am I getting picked for the basketball team for one or two reasons? But the problem with going down this route is that getting people to admit their subconscious biases out loud, as I maybe Twitter or being drunk, is kind of hard, yet in some sweet twist of irony. But people who I think will give us the answers can use neither Twitter or alcohol and are actually pretty short. Curtis, did you interview kids to ultimately try and prove that girls didn't like you just because you were tall? No. Someone else interviewed kids to ultimately prove the girls didn't like me just because I was tall. Oh my god. I'm interesting, okay, Vivi? You're really doing all this research just to prove your personality isn't 6'2". Fuck you. Anyway, kids are a good baseline to understand the subconscious on a scientific level because kids' brains haven't developed the parts that help inhibit just blurting out loud. And also in a real world way, one time I was walking around and a kid just looked at me and called me hairy, which wasn't wrong. So there was a study done that took 28 preschool age children and had them judge the strength, dominance, smartness, and concern for others. I don't know like, what that was that like empathy, like empathy of men and women of different heights. And the results were. Hmm. Not, not, 
Not what I wanted to see. Uh, the kids thought that taller people seemed both stronger and more dominant and in another study, smarter. So what does that tell us? Well, basically that tallness equates to being more dominant, stronger, and maybe smarter. And I don't even know if we can trust this information, uh, to be honest. Oh, come on. I mean, who even thought asking kids was a good idea? Like, what do they know? All right, like, they're kids. You did. You literally said it. I don't remember that. Interview kids to ultimately prove the girls didn't like me just because I was tall. I don't even know who that man is. Really? Okay, whatever. My research backfired on me, but like, yo, come on. We're talking about the moral judgment of people who watch fucking Blue's Clues, okay? I think I deserve a little slack. Like, I don't feel more dominant or smarter because I'm tall. I don't even feel those, period. And I'm sure if we keep looking at the numbers, we'll, we'll find something to prove me right. All right. Okay. All right, in bed, let's look up a, what the fuck? Where did you get a computer here? What? So it says taller people tend to earn more money. I'm not tall enough to about that computer. Uh, f where did you get this? Seriously, how? Taller political candidates tend to get more votes too. Where? Wait, oh, really? And taller men and women are considered to be more dominant, healthy, intelligent, and are more likely to be chosen for more competitive jobs. I mean, that doesn't necessarily. Various studies have found that the greater your height, the higher your score in measures of happiness and enjoyment of life. I'm not very happy right now, especially hearing all this, so that's not necessary. Finally, study after study has found that taller men and women are generally considered more attractive. Yo, since when have you been a short rights activist, huh? Uh, since I've been short. What the fuck are you talking about? We're like the same height. No, we're not. I'm five feet tall. What the fuck? Like with the zero at the end? Yeah, with a zero at the end. What the, what, am I bugging right now? You definitely are. Damn, I guess I... I, I guess I never really noticed. Literally how? I, mean, I don't know. I did. I just never pictured you as short. You know, that short, especially. Who's height racist now? Wait, what? Ha what? Why did you think I was taller? I don't, it just felt like it. Like, you didn't seem short to me in my head when I picture you. Because you're height racist. I think you're right. Oh, my God. Okay. Maybe there is some truth to this whole biases thing. I, in fact, I think that might be the key here. All right, let me break this down real quick. I don't meet people IRL, shit is gross. So usually I make friends online, which is about what you'd expect for someone who complains about their height on the internet. Now the difference between meeting people on the internet versus real life is your impression of them. In real life, your first impression of someone is usually their looks, their style, and their stature, aka the height. I don't know about y'all, but I build an image in my head and make an idea of the person like that, mostly based off of what they look. What they look like. Now online, you don't have that. First impression of someone you met on Discord is their voice, uh, maybe their emoji usage, and their stupid fucking profile picture. And from there, you make all your judgments of that person based off of those things alone. And naturally, you build an image in your head too. I mean, maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like everybody does this. For example, you, you watching this on your, on your screen right now, you, I'm talking to you. I want you to pause and think about someone you met online who you've never seen the actual height of, a friend, a lover, whatever. Now, how tall do you think they are? Chances are, even if it was a little difficult, you could probably come up with a general number. Well, how did you do that? You've never seen them before. You have nothing to go off of. Well, that means you did it based off their personality. I mean, there is a certain type of positive personality with being tall that we associate people with. Bro, this is nuts. And I do this too. I I, I do do this too. But look, I have three friends. They've all been on the channel before. Jen, Katie, and Kat. Now, Jen is a very extroverted, out there, happy, excited personality. Katie has a nice, kind, soft, must protect little sister vibe. And Kat is like an IRL anime girl, but mean and sociopath. Now just based off those descriptions, you can probably have your own mental image of what they're like in terms of stature. Well, I did too. That got shattered. They all had planned to come to New York at some point and I had a general picture of what they look like in my mind. Now here's the numbers, okay? I thought Jen was about 5'8". Katie, maybe around 5'1". And Kat, maybe around 5'4". And eventually, I meet them all in person and they are all about the exact same height, which means I wasn't right on any of them. They're all around like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, which I was not expecting in the slightest. And the only way I came to that conclusion was based off their personality. That means there is a height correlated 
personality. And the problem is that sometimes I think the reverse is true too. Some of y'all know Dory from getting the robots as VTB. She is, I shit you not, the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. And she is as tall as you think she is. I legally cannot say her actual height. She will bite my ankles for, for saying that on, on live. And you know what? This is a thing, apparently. When someone says, hey, you've got a tall personality, according to a personality expert, what you're actually saying is, you seem like a person who has a naturally tall height and all that brings with it. Because what others truly perceive is A, high self-esteem, and B, assertiveness when it comes to height. Quiet and you're soft, you might be seen like as a little shorter. You're more extroverted and proud and strong and out there, you might be seen as taller. Which would probably mean that off knowing your height, you would project these emotions onto the person. So, it would be safe to assume that seeing someone who was taller would trigger a subconscious bias. That might be cooler, stronger, and suaver than I actually am. And it doesn't help that all those other facts come together with it. <sighs> I go, John Cena is 6'1", which is tall, but it feels weird that I'm taller than him. That's how I know I have a bias. So where my homies right in that 6'2 in my bio is a big boon, I still don't feel like it. You know, I don't know. I've been tall for about a decade and sure it's been helpful with me maybe reaching things in the cupboard. But yo, I haven't had any relationships to my knowledge that my height was like make or break. And I don't have any research to prove it. And I am not calling my ex. Oh, that would be fun. It would not. I don't know when people might see me a certain way, but when those relationships run, they end up seeing me for who I am behind the height. Like, sure, I might get a date or something because they might see the 6-2 in the bio. Sure, it might trigger those unconscious bodies. Biases. Sure. But when we go on that date, what's going to matter is I'm funny. I'm interesting. So I'd like to think my personality isn't 6'2". I'm not sure how, but it's a bit deeper than that. So all in all, height does matter a bit, but probably not as much as you think, at least to me. But that's just my opinion. I'm glad you could finally understand. Uh, thanks, Vivi. Now, where the fuck did you buy that computer, though? Oh, sorry. I can't hear you from all the way up here. Baby, we're not going to do this right now. Now, height might bring you a little boost when it comes to the real world, but like we said, it's not make or break. So you need to be less concerned in gaining inches and more interested in gaining knowledge. That was smooth. That was smooth that transition. Now, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Let's go. Now, if you're new here, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 100 50 countries who come together to find inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. Unlike height, skills are things we can actually get better at and control. And I'd much rather be seen as cool for knowing how to write good scripted dialogue instead of having two inches of height. And Skillshare is the best place for that. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. They really scroll through their website, they, they got everything, y'all. Now, me personally, my passion is, well, making videos. And if you've been watching for a while, I haven't gotten to do more videos with this level of production for a bit. Well, it's because I've wanted to work on my productivity. And, and if you're hearing me say this, I'm glad to say I recorded this video and it came out on time. Wow. And I got to give thanks to Thomas Frank for putting out Mastering Productivity, Create a Custom System that works. Thank you, Thomas. Because, you know, I watched it on Skillshare. So if that all sounds good and you want to up your productivity or skill or whatever you want in the creative field and you want to do it for free, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. But you better act fast because every time I check the link on these things a little bit later, the deal is gone quick. So you better get on it. So again, if you want your first month free of Skillshare, be one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Thank you.